All right, the previous lesson we left off uh, by finding the linear equation that best fits that scatter plot, that best fits those, those points there. Now, when you buy your calculator and you take it out of the box and you use it and you do this, most likely all of you do not have this R value here, which is called the correlation coefficient. And um, for some reason, the calculators have this diagnostic turned off. So we're gonna turn that diagnostic on real quick. Okay, uh, above the zero has in yellow catalog. And if you hit second, zero, notice it has every single function that this calculator has in alphabetical order. And we have to go down to what's called a diagnostic, okay? Uh, we're gonna turn the diagnostic on, make sure the arrow's pointing it there, and then hit enter once, and then enter twice, okay? Now I just, I'm gonna do the same thing over again to find the line of best fit, as I'm gonna to go to stat, calculate, item four, linear regression, L1, comma, L2, comma, now we're gonna put the Y variable there, and you'll see why in a minute why that's important. So we're gonna to go to VARS, Okay, go over, and then notice when I hit enter again, it's not only going to give the y-intercept and the slope, but it gives these r-squared value and an r-value. Okay, now the r-squared value does a whole other lesson here, but this r-value is called the correlation coefficient, and what that means is that our line will fit this data about 86%. So this is always in a percentage right here. So we would say that that has a strong correlation that the taller you are according to this data, the more points you're gonna score. Now if this was uh, 0.6, we would say that that's a very weak correlation. If this was 0.99 or 99%, you would say it's an extremely strong correlation. All right, so going back to this, uh, now if I go back to y equal to, Notice that it put, let me clear these guys out here. This is my line of best fit here. Notice it, it really does, the, the slope was about 1.3 and it, it doesn't even really round this thing off and the, that's the y-intercept. So when we did that comma y vars thing and we put that y variable here, uh, going back to here, it automatically puts the equation here. So now when I hit graph again, not only does it do the scatter plot, but it puts the line of best fit in there, okay? And if we hit trace, we can hop from point to point, or we can hop along the line and trace along the line to find particular values.